nsellmilkom, fer għana ħafna li għandi dillu opportunita li għassilkom dal messaġ ta' għuguri. I'm happy to congratulate you all on your continuing efforts to sustain, to make visible and to celebrate the learning of the Maltese language in Australia. Through the work of the Maltese Language Teachers Association of Victoria and your collaborators, you are contributing to the vitality of the entire Maltese Australian community and their descendants. Indeed, you are active contributors for the preservation of our Maltese identity and heritage around the world. It was my pleasure to visit you last July and spend time with you. Listening to your experiences and learning about your lives in Australia has been a source of inspiration to me. The pride you feel in the home of your ancestors is an encouragement to others and a reminder of the importance of fostering strong roots in an increasingly globalized world. If we are to effectively reach out to one another and form meaningful connections with different groups in society, then we must first of all respect the dignity of our own traditions. This is especially clear when it comes to our mother tongue, the language which unites us as one Maltese people, wherever we are. Our language is evidence of the resilience which characterizes our national identity. It combines Semitic, Romance and Germanic influences which reflect the rich history of our islands. We have always been a vibrant melting pot of cultures at the crossroads of civilizations and continents. Our language takes different elements of our heritage and unites them together in a way that is uniquely Maltese. In fact, our language and its history have generated academic interest at the University of Bremen in Germany, which has established its own international center for the study of the Maltese language and is attracting the interests of scholars from around the world. When we speak our language, we are celebrating our legacy. When we speak our language, we are safeguarding it for the benefit of future generations. Furthermore, being bilingual brings a range of added advantages. These include improved cognitive skills and an increased sensitivity to issues of culture and literature. The ability to speak more than one language encourages us to think in new and innovative ways. Students with parents of Maltese origin are also eligible for dual citizenship and the opportunities which this brings. By form forming part of Malta, as citizens, you are granted access to the Mediterranean region and the European Union. Let me conclude by further encouraging the successful collaboration between the Victorian School of Languages, the Government of Malta, the Consul General for Malta for Vic in Victoria, and the Maltese Language Teachers Association of Victoria, particularly the Association's President, Mr. Mark Bonello. Above all, let me congratulate the Association's hard-working educators and, of course, students. We must continue working together to strengthen our Maltese identity and culture, especially among young people. Your admirable efforts are evidence of the commitment we all share to preserve and celebrate our language for generations to come. May you continue promoting the beauty of our language and culture among your families, your friends, your communities and across Australia. Yen buriyata sobi kwa munishtilkom kul suches al futur.